Hi there, I'm Mike Newey and I'm a partner in Neon Sound Studios in Burnswood along with my wife. We're both partners. I suppose it's because I was a musician, essentially, um, and I always wanted to record numbers and, and songs that I'd written myself, as well as other people's covers. So I started wanting to record at a very early, early age, quite a young age, I suppose. Uh, that's in the days of tapes, reel-to-reel -reel tapes, um, Grundig tape machines, and then after that, cassettes. So I've always wanted to record music. My first experience, I think, was when I was about, um, probably about 13 or 14. My friend and I, we used to go around to his bedroom and we, we he had a reel-to-reel -reel tape machine and we used to just make, uh, make up songs or tunes and record them. So that was, that was my first experience and that was quite a few years ago, unfortunately. Right, well, that's a really quite, a, quite an involved question. Um, it's not always a matter of what equipment you want because of price and everything, you know. Uh, it's a matter of what you can get that's going to do the job for the right price as well. Um, now, we're talking about this, this setup in, in here. Yeah, yeah. and then the other one, I thought you were, yeah. Right, well, in here, the, this, the, this, this has always been planned to be a digital recording suite. Now, digital is okay, but here at Neon Studios, we do a lot of live band recordings. Now, that's all very well doing it digitally. Digi digitally. Oh, can, I, can we say that again, please? Dig digitally. <laughs> In fact, can you... Can you, you can just start the question again. Just start. Yeah, I'll start. Um, at Neon Studios, we do a lot of live recordings, uh, live band recordings, which means that when you do a digital recording, um, unless you've got loads and loads of different interfaces, uh, you can't do too many tracks at one in one go. Um, yeah, it's possible. Um, and there's different ways of, of wiring everything up. But because we do a lot of live demo work, I need at least 16 channels or 16 tracks. So I needed an analog desk as well. Um, the other studio we've got, which is analog, uh, we've got 24 tracks there, which we, again we can bounce tracks off. But because this is digital, then I still needed to be able to do live demo recordings with live bands. So hence the um, the desk, the analog desk. We could have a digital desk, but that almost complicates it a little bit. It's superfluous in some way. So we've got a digital desk, uh, sorry, an analog desk with a digital um uh, software, which will, which is going to be Logic or Pro Tools, or both. Yes. Pro Tools is is sort of a bit more complicated. Uh, there's lots more facets t to Pro Tools, and I haven't been able to spend long enough yet on on either of the two programs to um, to become completely swish at it <laughs> you know uh but that that's to come but i think logic's simple simple to use but it's got far less um good points i prefer analog only because of it's what i've been brought up on um and to me analog is yeah it's a quick way of recording um, whereas digital can take can take longer to do, especially in the mixing. <clears throat> if I'm honest, a lot of musicians don't know the difference. They think that analog is great because it's it's the old way of doing it, and it's reel to reel tape, 
and you get a warmer sound, which you do with, with tape. But uh, um, they, th they think it's, it's good because it's analogue. They like digital because you can do more with it, and you can yeah. you can fix things easier with with digital recordings, which is true. And I think digital's better, far better, for a songwriter um, developing songs and, and and tracks than analog because it's more difficult to cut and paste and and alter things with with analog. Is home recording detrimental to the studio? Yes, unfortunately it is. Um, over the years, the advent of digital software and home recording systems has taken work away from studios. Um, consequently, studios have had to look at different ways, I think, of putting in um, the work, the business. And a lot of the time now, studios are becoming far more professional in the sense that they're having to go for the big bands that have got the money and the record and the, and the record companies that are able to pay out to do the proper recordings rather than... Um, whereas one time, a, a small band could go and do a recording. Uh, they'll probably go to the mate's house now. But the trouble is they can't always do everything particularly drums. Now, if you try and record live drums in, a, in somebody's bedroom, um, the neighbours are <laughs> get a bit yeah. fed up, don't they? Drums in recording bands band or whatever, they just have to trigger all of the drums. Yeah. So, yeah, it works and you can do it, but, but it, it, it's, not, it's not ideal, is it, really? No. Um, and when you look at it, 20, 20 25 years ago, it was two three hundred pounds to to do a day's recording it's, it's no more than that now 25 years later mm. in the studio so things haven't have things improved or not i don't think they have really in some ways you know a studio is there to give a professional um service and home recording has affected it with that there Oh, well, if I knew that, then I'd be making it now and I'd start selling it next week. It's like, you know, um, match matches, isn't it? If I could come up with a, another way of making a match <laughs> or a lighter, then, uh, yeah, it's difficult to say, isn't it, really? It'll just keep developing, I think. Um, digital is here to stay, without a doubt. It's great. It's, it's, it's very good, especially, as I mentioned before, from a songwriter's point of view. Um, and an artist's point of view, it, it, it's, it's there to be used to its advantage. Um, it's sometimes, I think, used slightly incorrectly in the sense that it's, it enhances people or artists a bit too much and then they can't go out and do it and play live. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dead right. Um, but what's going to happen in the future? It's just going to keep developing, I think. Um, I think sounds will, will get better and the power of computers is going to keep increasing so that um, plugins won't be detrimental to the power of the, of the, uh, of the computers quite so much. So, so um, I think it'll, it'll all become easier for people to use it, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. But I think, I think it'd be nice if something was developed more for professional studi studios as well yeah. to help them. I don't know what. It's a wrap. <laughs>